Hey, this is Dave Cornelson. I should let you know that we just are at the tail end of a week-long workshop with approximately 30 teachers from rural districts within the state of Missouri doing a coding, STEM, writing, math integration workshop. Coders from Missouri State University presents Spotlights. Frank Hebert. And Frank, tell me a little bit about the school district you came from. Uh, I teach at Neosho Junior High School in Neosho, Missouri. Um, yeah, and I teach uh, innovations there, which is a wide array of different technology, te technology classrooms and, and class subjects. Let me ask you this. Do you work with one grade? Do you work with many grades? How many grades do you work with? I work specifically with seventh and eighth grade students uh, from all the different neighborhoods in our in our school so I'll see students out of the 800 there I will see them from all over the school I don't see the same students all the time I see them every semester so um, I get a I think I see around a quarter ish of the students each each some each year uh, after the semester now one of the things you know is this is a grant called coders with Missouri State University the Department of Education to integrate things and so you're doing one specific thing you're doing technology what kinds of things do you think you might be able to do in your school to help us along our path to help integrate things uh, some of the things I've been thinking of because that's one of the struggles I've been having this week personally is I'm already teaching some of the stuff that we're right, doing right. so I already have a computer science class sure. that I do and, and stuff like that so maybe my my goal will be more to see if I can bring some of the other teachers along at my school and help them understand ways that they could build this in, maybe push into some of their classes and help them with lessons and give them some of the, help them with some of the resources that I, I have as well as maybe work on incorporating some of the core subject areas through the lesson plans that we have into the classes that I have. One of the things we need, I mean, we don't know everything, obviously, by a good stretch. You're out there in the trenches and we need help understanding if there is a teacher who's doing content like you are that's specific and you have people that you're working with how can you help us help them take coding and put it into science because maybe they're not doing that yet mm -hmm. and and so would you say that up until now there's been any real level of integration where the coding you're doing or the computer science you're doing is tied directly to things that they're doing or has it been sort of not connected up until it, now? it really hasn't been connected the the coding that we do at our school is through project lead the way it's a uh, pa already prepackaged curriculum it's the same every semester and it while it it works on uh, programming things in physical objects in the real world and how they interact with each other it doesn't really focus on incorporating many of the other subject areas the main content area we probably build in is there's a little bit of math because coding always involves a little bit of math and there's English because we do in all of my classes I make sure they do a good amount of writing as far as reflection and prediction and writing about their their game plan and their themes and all of that kind of stuff but uh, uh, I think that at my school there's there's a lot of teachers who are kind of intimidated by coding sure and I like I have a reputation that's kind of how I ended up in my job I was a math teacher and it was actually harder for them to find someone to teach technology at the time than it was to fill that math position and it's not always that way it just happened to fall that way that year uh, I just happened to be able to do two different subjects that a lot of people can't don't either don't want to do or can't do and from talking to other people and other teachers, most of them seem to be relatively apprehensive and maybe intimidated by coding and just computers in general. Because if they aren't comfortable with that kind of stuff, it's something that they can easily struggle with. And then finding ways to incorporate that into their content area in a meaningful way is sometimes difficult. Let me ask you this. So we're, we're doing stuff with drag and drop specifically as a tool to start getting people into, let's say, the more advanced types of coding. So teachers, we think the hardest part about coding, amazingly enough, is not the syntax. It's thinking like a coder. Yep. And, and so do you think that we can get some of those people that are intimidated to start maybe sitting in on things and watching this be implemented? Is that, is that going to help? I think the, the route that we're going and the types of coding that we're using is, is set up in a way that would, that would allow them to be less intimidated. The drag and drop method, I think it's, they think of 
coding like most people think. You see it in movies and stuff, uh, a guy sitting in front of a co computer typing a bunch of code and doing all that stuff, which if you don't know the commands and you don't know how it works, it's extremely intimidating and extremely difficult. Right. Whereas what we're actually using is stuff where I'm just dragging and dropping and once you understand the, the little bit that you need to know about how to put things in the right spots and be willing to trial and error, it's actually not that difficult. So I think it's overcoming that burden. I think the route that we're going through and gone through this week, I think is is fantastic and it's a good uh, template to, to get more teachers comfortable with it and being willing to incorporate it into their classrooms. Well, we really hope to see you a lot in the fall and we're looking forward to you helping us do this incorporation that we need to do. I'm excited to help however I can. I appreciate that, thanks very much.